Good morning. This is uh, the latest smoke impacts briefing, Thursday, August 26th in the morning from the National Weather Service Weather Forecast Office in Medford, Oregon. And I want to emphasize that we, we uh, coordinate with a lot of different agencies about the smoke and its impacts uh, to our communities. Oregon DEQ, Air Resource Advisors, and other partner agencies. So why give this briefing now? Well, taking a look at some of the, the number of days uh, with daily air quality index unhealthy for sensitive groups, unhealthy or very unhealthy, we're, uh, we're getting towards a lot of days here. Much of August has been impacted by smoke, and you can see the uh, Jackson County kind of graph there, mainly early August, about August 3rd, started to see some impacts from smoke from area wildfires and really continuing into uh, current time. And this is Jackson County, so it's, it's generalized. It includes uh, generally the worst case scenarios. It includes, uh, I think, the worst air quality from the monitors in Jackson County, including Shady Cove and Medford. And then the Klamath Falls daily air quality index to the right, you can see uh, the number of days impacted in August, uh, kind of similar to Jackson County. So a lot of, a lot of impacts from, from the smoke and poor air quality. So thought we'd uh, kind of give you an idea on, on what the current situation is, where the smoke's coming from and any, any indication of what's it gonna look like next few days. So we're gonna take a look now at some of the fires in the area. And here's a map showing current air quality index and the fires. And I'm gonna zoom in and also it shows some of the heat, uh, satellite observed heat on the fires to show kind of what fires are most active. So if you zoom in, you can see the Smith fire, part of the Devil's Knob complex has the most heat and is probably contributing the most smoke to Southern Oregon right now and over the past several days. And you can see uh, still continuing to produce heat. That fire has been pushing, or the smoke from that fire has been pushing to the south and east generally with time you can see crater lake being impacted with very poor air quality right now down through shady cove and then into uh, chiloquin and clam falls a little better conditions uh, further further south into medford area so those are the fires in southern oregon the main ones that are impacting us with smoke and then as we head in towards siskiyou county you can see several Fires have significant heat on them right now, observed from satellite, including the McCash in Western Siskiyou, uh, the River Complex, and then the Antelope in Eastern Siskiyou. And as we head east of the Cascades, not much, uh, not much heat at least observed from satellite on the Patton Meadow fire. So that's the current uh, situation with the fires and some of the air quality. Now we're going to show you where we have an air quality alert for uh, portions of Southern Oregon. Anywhere where you see this gray air, I'll zoom out a little bit. You can see some fire perimeters and then this is where we expect the main impact from smoke and that. Uh, is valid through Monday afternoon, where we'll take another look at things and, and see where things lie then. Now we'll get into briefly the, uh, I want to show you, if you, uh, if you go to weather.gov forward slash MFR or Medford, you go down, you'll see a weather story typically addressing some of the smoke impacts. Uh, there's the air quality alert area. And then you'll click on the smoke and wildfire safety link. 
and this will link to uh, a lot of different information. One is the uh, latest HER model smoke uh, forecast for our area, and also you'll get some maps of the air quality index, uh, airnow.gov, and also the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality, smoke outlooks from area wildfire resource personnel, and you can kind of see this. I'm just going to click briefly on it. Here's what it looks like. Th these are folks that are at the fires that are trained in kind of providing some localized smoke outlook. So I'm going to click on this region here, view the outlook, and there you can see uh, from those active fires, here's a particular forecast um, for Chiloquin, and you can go to uh, Medford, ideas on, on the smoke outlook. So lots of links to be found there and to use. And every now and then this, this loop will not update. Sometimes it'll be blank, but that's okay. We're going to go to this link here. And that kind of provides a tutorial and another link to the actual smoke outlook, which we'll just go to. And here's the 48-hour uh, uh, starting yesterday evening and going out 48 hours for the outlook. So here we are, Southern Oregon and Jackson County, about right there, Siskiyou County, Modoc County, Klamath County. So you have some county borders here. I'm just going to fast forward through to this afternoon. And you can see uh, a lot of smoke pushing just east of the fires and then focused over Siskiyou, Modoc County. So uh, some improvement today, further improvement compared to yesterday. And of course, if you're right downwind of the fires, still going to be impacted, especially that Smith fire still burning in eastern Douglas County significantly. Then tonight, it looks like the uh, smoke impacts look less than previous nights. We're going to fast forward till uh, tomorrow afternoon. So this is Friday afternoon. You can start to see some of the smoke pushing now from north to south. Uh, so some areas will get back into the smoke, maybe Jackson County, um, but those California smoke uh, will be pushing south into California. And there you go. That's for uh, tomorrow evening. All right, so I'm going to go back to kind of the, the main points here. What are the main uh, ideas here? I want to emphasize when I say west or westerly winds, that means uh, wind is coming from the west. That's how we speak speak about it in weather forecasting. So west winds and weak disturbance will help clean the air away from the wildfire. So uh, the air will be clean when you're speaking at distance from wildfires through early Friday. And again, that's uh, um, you know even better generally conditions compared to yesterday. Winds are going to shift to northerly late Friday. That means the winds are going to be from north to south, and areas uh, south of the fires will again be impacted by smoke. This could continue through the weekend at least, and the weekend's going to be warming and drying, so perhaps a little more fire activity uh, this weekend. And then another cool front moves through Sunday. Going to go through this process again. The air's probably going to be cleaned up again from the wildfires, and that's away from wildfires, air will be cleaned up some, uh, winds will shift to westerly again, and that pattern looks to continue to Monday or Tuesday. Just some uh, helpful hints for the smoke. One thing I want to mention is just if you have this ability to, to circulate, uh, run your fan in your house all the time to continue to filter out those uh, smoke particulates, that can really help keep air quality good indoors. And uh, that's it. Thanks for listening. And again, there's that uh, URL to link to lots of information if you want to dig further on your own.